Hi, I'm Rick from Equipter. Let's talk about how to use the Equipter 4000. We're going to cover safety protocols, starting and driving, the rollback feature, lifting, dumping, and towing. Let's check it out. So let's talk about safety protocols for operating the Equipter 4000. You have to review your operator's manual for a full list of safety precautions to protect you and your crew. Here are the basics. When you connect and disconnect, please be on level ground. Make sure the parking brake is always engaged when not driving. The outriggers are always down when lifting or extending the box. And never adjust outriggers when the box is not in transport position. Let's talk about how to start the Equipter 4000. I'm going to take you through and locate the engine compartment and show you two ways to turn on the 4000. This is the engine compartment for the Equipter 4000. One of our keys unlocks the engine compartment. The other key is used to turn on the engine. Now we stick the key in, put it in the on position, and from there we can switch the unit on. Now, if you're having trouble cold starting your unit, you can use the choke, turn it on, and then put the lever back where it was. So this is the second way to turn on your Equipter 4000. With the key in the engine in the on position, you can now turn on the unit using the ignition switch and the control panel, which I'll do now. And that's how you power an Equipter unit. Let's talk driving. I'm gonna show you how to disengage the parking brake and how to throttle your engine. Also, we're gonna go forward and reverse. Let's check it out. The first thing you wanna do is lower the operator stand. Now, when you drive, you're gonna step up on here and you have your controls. When you wanna drive, you disengage the parking brake. Anytime you're off the driver's platform, you engage the parking brake. This is your engine throttle. You can turn it right or left to increase the RPMs and your engine speed. Now this is the fun part. You push forward on the directional lever to go forward and you push backwards to go in reverse. And that's how you drive the Equipter 4000. Let's talk about protecting our customer's landscape with the rollback feature which you can easily operate on the control panel. Let me show you how it works. So first thing we want to do is lower the stabilizer so that you know your bed is flat. You can check the bubble level uh, to make sure that you're even. And then here in the control panel, we have the rollback lever. If you move it forward, your box slides backwards. And if you move it towards you, it rolls back into its uh, normal position. And that is how the rollback feature works on the Equipter 4000. Let's talk lifting the Equipter 4000. I'll show you how to engage the parking brake. I will also show you how to lower the outrigger so the Equipter is level and how to operate that on the control panel. Let's get started. First thing you want to do is make sure the parking brake is engaged. Next, you want to lower your stabilizers to make sure that the box is level and you can check here, make sure it's at zero. Lastly, this is the lift lever and the control panel. You push forward to lift the box up in the air and pull towards you to lower it back to the starting position. And that's how you operate the lift feature of the Equipter 4000. Let's talk the dumping feature. Again, we'll have to lower the outrigger so the Equipter is level. I'll show you how to lift it to the desired height and how to operate the hydraulic tailgate. Follow me. Here at the control panel, we have the dump lever. If you push forward, it will raise the front of the box, making it easier for the debris to fall out. Here, we have the hydraulic tailgate lever. If you push it, it will open the tailgate and drop out the debris. Once you're ready to come back to your original position, you pull the lever towards you. And that's how you use the equipter 4000 dump feature. Thanks, Rick. My name is Jeremy. I'm out here at the Equipter campus. I want to talk with you about hooking up your Equipter 4000 
and equipped her 3300 to your tow vehicle. I'll be demonstrating with the 4000, but just keep in mind that everything that I'm doing here, you can do with the 3300 as well. Let's get started. Okay, let's talk about the first step. You'll be driving your Equipter 4000 up to your tow vehicle. Then engage the brake. Next, you're gonna need to attach the tow hooks to your tow vehicle. After attaching the tow hooks to your tow vehicle, you will then want to lower the equipter onto the tow ball. When lowering the equipter onto the tow vehicle, you'll want to do two different things at the same time. There is a red lever down beside your outriggers. You'll pull that towards you using the lever on the control panel, pushing it away from you to lift the wheels up, lowering the equipter onto the tow vehicle. Next, you'll wanna take the RV cable and make sure you plug that into your tow vehicle. Now, the next thing you'll wanna do is attach the breakaway cable to your tow vehicle. The next step is to put the hitch pin into the lock position. Now, don't forget, before you drive away, make sure you disengage the parking brake and make sure that your platform is in the lock position. And that's how you connect the Equipter 4000 and 3300. Let's talk about disconnecting the Equipter 4000. Now keep in mind, you can do the same sequence with the Equipter 3300. First thing we wanna do is we want to engage the parking brake. Next, you'll wanna pull the hitch pin and place the lever to the unlock position. Then remove the RV cable from the tow vehicle. Remove the breakaway cable from the tow vehicle. Next, you will lift the equipter off of the tow vehicle by pulling on the red lever, bringing it towards you. On the operating panel, you will take the lever and pull it towards you to bring the wheels down, lifting the equipter up off of the ball of the tow vehicle. After lifting the equipter off of the tow vehicle, you will want to unhook the tow chains from the tow vehicle. Before driving away from your tow vehicle, make sure to disengage the parking brake. I just want to say thanks for your time. My name is Jeremy. I'm going to send it back to Rick. Thank you for watching our instructional video. If you have any questions, please reach out via the information below.